And the Nigerian Correctional Service has called on the federal government to make room for the participation of inmates in the electoral process, saying it is the safest and most secured place to vote. The executive director, Carmelite Prisoners Interest Organization, Judy Siguzo, while addressing newsmen in Abuja during a validation of framework for inmate voting in Nigeria, said inmates have the right to vote as placement or location should not debar anyone from exercising his or her franchise. He said many efforts have been put in place to ensure that inmates vote come 2023 elections. We as a non-government organization now want to you know, work together with INEC to see how can this um, become effective, how will this come to be. So I believe that we are on the right track so far. Um, it is said that it is better to be late than never. And we believe that with this um, effort and with this workshop today, something positive will come out of it. The security breaches we know is as a result of, uh, it's a general thing. Uh, it's not only the Nigerian Correctional Service that is being attacked. We have seen uh, security breaches in the Nigerian Defense Academy. We've also seen it in the Nigerian Police. So uh, why that of uh, Nigerian Correctional Service is uh, most mentioned is because it's strategic to the security architecture of the nation. So that is uh, why. But uh, people clamoring for inmates to vote. Uh, legally, is their right to vote. Uh, after all, in Nigerian Correctional Service, we have over 73% of uh, inmates as a waiting trial. So if you have such people who are not convicts, then you cannot disenfranchise them. Even the convicts, the Lord recognizes their rights to, uh, to cast their votes in any election in, any election in the country. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.